Daenerys confides in Dario Naharis that she has no idea where Drogon has flown off to. After the public execution of Mossada, Daenerys encounters an even further grown Drogon, who has become the size of an elephant, on top of the Great Pyramid. She reaches out to him, but Drogon flies away at the last moment. Drogon apparently flew west, eventually winding up roving the skies above the shattered ruins of the Valyrian Peninsula, where he was glimpsed by Jorah Mormont and Tyrion Lannister, who were traveling through the region to avoid pirates. Massive and majestic, Drogon's unexpected appearance rendered the typically chatty Tyrion speechless and seeing him again also enraptures Jorah. Drogon's flight, unfortunately, distracted the pair long enough for them to be attacked by stone men. While Daenerys attends the grand reopening of the fighting pits at the Great Pit of Dizonac, a large group of Sons of the Harpy appear and attack her council and the spectators. While trying to escape, Danny and her small group become surrounded by the Sons with no chance of escape. Drogon suddenly appears, flying out of a flame burst and begins to attack, burning the Sons with his fiery breath and crushing them in his massive jaws. Temporarily retreating in terror, the Sons regroup and retaliate by throwing spears at Drogon wounding him slightly. Danny pulls a spear from Drogon's neck, then climbs on his back to remove another one. She commands him to fly away, and he does so, with Danny on his back. Later, Drogon lands atop an impressive hill in a sea of green grass. Though Danny tries to convince him to take her back to Marine, Drogon is still recovering from his wounds and is uninterested in flying back. Daenerys wanders away to find something to eat but she is quickly surrounded by a Dothraki colossus.